present. No cities, no machines, no civilization. Just the raw, untamed pulse of a planet still learning what it means to live. What if you lived in every prehistoric era? From the birth of the first single-celled organisms to the age of towering beasts and monstrous reptiles, what would it mean to survive each chapter of Earth's forgotten past? What would you see? What would you feel? And what would you learn about the fragile thread that connects all life, including your own? Let's begin, at the very start, the Hadean era. Four and a half billion years ago, there is no life, there is no peace, only chaos. Molten rock bleeds across the surface. Volcanoes scream into the sky, filling it with toxic gases. Meteorites rain down from the heavens like burning gods. If you stood here, if somehow, you could survive, you would see Earth as a violent newborn. The oceans are not yet oceans. The air, not yet breathable. Each breath would sear your lungs. This is where it all began. Not with beauty, but with fire. For hundreds of millions of years, this was Earth's heartbeat, chaotic, molten, alive in its own violent way. Then, something changed. The planet cooled. Rains fell for the first time. And from the chemical soup that covered the young Earth, life began to whisper its first words. Now we enter the Archean era, the time of beginnings. There are no trees, no animals, only oceans of microscopic pioneers, bacteria. Single-celled organisms, struggling and dividing in the dark. If you lived here, you'd need a microscope to see your neighbors, and yet, these invisible forms are shaping everything that will come after. They eat sunlight, they breathe carbon dioxide, and slowly, molecule by molecule, they begin releasing something new oxygen. That one change will rewrite the planet, but it will take billions of years. The air thickens. The skies begin to clear, and the stage is set for something extraordinary, the Proterozoic Era. The Great Oxidation, the world turns blue. For the first time, the sky looks familiar, but for the early life forms, oxygen is poison. Mass extinction sweeps across the microscopic world. Only the adaptable survive, and from them emerge more complex cells, eukaryotes, the ancestors of everything with a nucleus including you. You watch as colonies of cells form alliances, symbiotic relationships, early communication, the seeds of multicellular life. And deep in the oceans, strange, soft-bodied creatures appear. The Ediacaran life forms, unlike anything that exists today, they do not move. They absorb nutrients directly through their skin. They are silent, motionless gardens of flesh. But they are the first hint of animals then suddenly an explosion the cambrian a burst of creativity on a planetary scale it's 540 million years how the oceans erupt with life trilobites scuttle across the sea floor like armored roaches anomalocarus giant predators with eyes like cameras hunt them relentlessly jellyfish pulse in the shallow seas worms burrow sponges bloom in the blink of geological time Evolution invents almost every basic body plan that will ever exist. If you lived here, you'd see alien creatures, but they are your distant kin. For the first time, the ocean has an ecosystem, predators, prey, competition. The cycle of life begins to turn. Hundreds of millions of years. Past plants creep onto land, insects follow, and then fish begin to breathe air. Fins turn into limbs. The first amphibians crawl from the sea. The Devonian. Here are the age of fish, the oceans teem with strange, armored species. But on the shores, something miraculous is happening. Lungs evolve. Bones strengthen. Eyes adapt to light. You could stand beside one of these creatures and see the moment evolution quite literally takes its first step onto land. And soon, the land belongs to life. Forests rise. Giant ferns reach skyward. The air fills with oxygen. Dragonflies grow to the size of eagles. This is the Carboniferous. If you breathed the air here, it would taste rich and thick, almost electric. The perfect fuel for giants. Yet beneath your feet, the swamps trap and bury layer after layer of dead plants. In time, those layers will become coal. 
the very fuel that, millions of years later, humans will use to ignite the Industrial Revolution. Every breath you take in this ancient forest echoes into your own future, but then, darkness comes, the Permian era. Volcanoes awaken, ash fills the skies, temperatures rise, the oceans turn, acidic, and then, life collapses, over. 90% of all species vanish, the great, dying, the planet resets. You stand in silence, surrounded by death. Yet somehow life endures, it always does, from the ashes. The reptiles rise, and among them, one group will dominate for over 160 million years. The Triassic. The Jurassic. The Cretaceous, the age of dinosaurs, the ground shakes beneath the weight of titans, sauropods stretch their necks to the Treetops carnivores hunt in coordinated strikes, birds take flight, for the first time. If you lived here, the world would seem both terrifying and beautiful, a planet ruled not by intelligence, but by strength, instinct, and sheer adaptation. The continents drift apart, the world reshapes itself again and again, seas rise and fall, volcanoes breathe new mountains into existence. But all empires end, and this one ends in fire 66 million years. Hurst a rock from space ten kilometers wide, falls from the heavens. It strikes with the force of ten billion atomic bombs. The sky burns, forests ignite, the dinosaurs fall, and once again, Earth begins anew, from the shadows of extinction, small. Warm-blooded survivors emerge, mammals, they had always been there, quiet, hidden, waiting for their chance. Now, the age belongs to them, the Paleogene. Forests return. The earth heals. Mammals grow larger, more intelligent. Whales move into the oceans. Horses run across open plains. Primates climb through trees, their hands and eyes growing more human with every generation. Then, 2.5 million years ago, something stirs in the dust of Africa. A spark of awareness, a mind that can imagine. Remember, dream, the first humans rise, and suddenly, the story of prehistory ends, and the story of history begins. You have lived through the birth of Earth through fire and ice, through extinction and rebirth. You've walked alongside creatures that defied imagination. You've breathed the air of worlds long dead, and through it all, you've watched one truth emerge again and again. Life adapts, it endures, it finds a way. But what if you could not just witness prehistory, but change it? What if you could alter one event? One extinction, one mutation, one evolutionary turn. Would humans still exist? Would you still exist? And what would the world look like? If evolution had taken a different path,